Hello, welcome back to another fabulous sermon channel. I'm Jacob from Jacob's Book Square, and today we're me starting this writing vlog. This vlog is a few different links, um, mostly just because I had to shorten it uh, quite a bit, and that is because I took out all the reading portion. Uh, for camp going forward, and for most vlogs going forward, because of some developments in this vlog that I'm not going to spoil for you, I'm very, very excited uh, to just kind of focus on writing for for some time being. I'm still reading. I still have a goal to hit 200 books at the end of the year. It might be the these next few months I might read less than normal and so I don't know video wise how that's going to reflect but that's besides the point. Let's go ahead and jump into this past week's vlog. So I just want to come in here and update the reading slash writing vlog. I think I have come with coming up with somewhat of a solution for the ruling. So we're going to start working thing on that outline tonight after I get done streaming or if I have time beforehand. I have a video I need to do. I actually have a few videos but hopefully I can wake up early enough tomorrow to do them before I have to leave. Hello, uh, I wanted to come in here and update you guys. I really do need to work on writing. It's gonna be another camp video where I don't do any writing, possibly. I did, however, I don't know if I explained this or not, brainstorm what I needed to do, I think, for the ruling, which is really nice. I wanna reread the ruling, what I have so far, and see if I just like the trajectory, and if so, then we'll just continue on pace. But if I don't, then that's also cool. Um, I don't know, I gotta figure it out. I gotta figure it out, which means we gotta go into outlining and stuff. And then for Broken Boys, I'm just nervous to read it, so I just have yet to start. I just need to sit down, buckle up, and read it. But either way. Hello! If you hear any noises down below, that is my kitty cat. She is, uh sitting beneath my feet. For writing, I did get some writing done though. I started working on the ruling. Yesterday, I think I was talking about changing up the timeline completely and starting from a different point. I was also at one point thinking of moving my main character from the royal family that he is from in this book and into a much more desolate family that works on basically their farm type of situation in their castle like and so i was thinking maybe that was the way to go and, and that wasn't the way to go i'm keeping the story the same i think i just realized that there's many chapters that i started writing that would actually happen more toward the third like a third of the way through the book and so i'm just moving some stuff and adding new chapters and so I think I even might do some light editing tonight and work on some of that since I was really into it while writing. I gotta kind of plan out what's gonna happen between now and whatever chapter that big scene happens in. So I gotta, gotta do some brainstorming and then we can get to writing. And yeah, I'm very, very excited. I moved basically all the big inciting instant stuff into like the middle of the book, but we're gonna, it's gonna be like a kind of like a slow build up, but I think it's gonna be worth it in the end. And of course, we can figure out if I need to cut anything to move things to the timeline a little bit better in next drafts, which will be coming once I finish the, the trilogy. So that's a that's a future Jacob problem. <laughs> no, right now, Jacob problem. For Broken Boys, I've yet to start reading it. So maybe we'll dabble in a little bit of that tonight as well. I do have the draft pulled up. I just haven't started my reread. That's all I really need to do, especially now that I've made such great progress with the ruling, with trying to figure out the bigger stuff. I realize... I really just need to jump back into this world and we're doing a lot of mundane things right now. The first few chapters really is just about character development and bonding. I'm really liking it and I think it's going to be really nice and sweet before we get into the really really graphic nitty gritty stuff later on. So that works for me. That's my update for, for you guys. I'm going to go update. Okay so I have some writing updates. I'm sitting here and I finally figured out basically the idea. So I knew where chapter 15 was going to end because the whole point of extending this beginning was to get to the middle point which is chapter 15 or it's going to be somewhere around chapter 15. I'm a little nervous about it because it's not at the end of a part. It's actually in the middle of part two. It's not like the middle, you know, like part two doesn't begin halfway through the book where I guess we could do 14 chapters in both parts or whatever and letting chapter 15 be, you know, breaking up in two sections like that. I don't know. Personally, I I like the three section thing. We'll see. We might jump around in between that idea. Because chapter 16, there's a somewhat of a time jump in between where we see them last and again. Not a big one. Not as big as my original outline had it. Because like that's too big according to the timeline I've already created. So it doesn't make any sense. Because the first 15 chapters takes place over a course of like eight days. And then we take a time jump of just up a few months. <laughs> Nothing greater but my chapters i have already written are going and so we're starting with chapter eight which was originally chapter two now this is not the first project i've had situations like this before 
For instance, Not Broken Boys, The Ashbees, which I talked about in one video a long time ago. Its first book, its first chapter wasn't until chapter like six of the actual book that ended up being the final copy of it without editing, you know, just the final first draft. It was like chapter six or seven. So it's not abnormal for me. Normally I do jump one track or I'm like, oh, this first chapter doesn't really make sense. So we'll go jump to something else. The Ashbees specifically was a mix of like, there's like six different voices. And so I think that was a very big reason of why it's the reason why the book's 700 pages long but it's also like it shouldn't be but but with this one there's like 20,000 24,000 words in between where we're at and where we're going and we currently have 6,406 words on that word count as we speak with just the prologue and chapter one that's not including the little bit of text in that is on part one so it's actually 6,204 words so we're gonna add 24,000 words to that before we even hit chapter eight and a lot of this stuff like I said is just really character-y things which i'm excited for and also some world building those are the two big things i want to set up some big factions and also some character stuff and then we can jump into the main plot which technically i guess does not really get insighted until chapter eight which is i don't know like really far into the book so yeah that's where we're at i'll update you guys soon hi guys welcome to friday my last day i'll be vlogging well not really i'll be vlogging tomorrow but this will be my only update probably for today and that is I figured out that I probably should just put Broken Boys down for the time. I don't know. I think I'm still going to read it and like kind of work on it on the side, but it's not going to be as heavily featured as I originally thought. And I have this this discovery. I was going back and rewatching one of my favorite YouTubers writing vlogs and she had mentioned something over the lines of she can't like she moved on from a project and she has a hard time going back to it or whatever and that's not like included like revisions broken boys is done that's right that's that's the title you guys know broken boys is done um this is just revisions to make it the best novel it can be so that's fine i think what i need to personally do before i can move back into revisions for broken boys though is finish the rolling book one to get me all set up for book two i think that's personally what i need to do so i can put it on the back burner and my mom can take some time to read it and then i can have some and then i'll just focus on broken boys in between those and these will be my two projects and i just need to forget about any other projects gonna be real hard because my brain likes to wonder but i think that's what i need to do personally so i feel like that's what i'm gonna do so i got i sat down i pulled up my project for the for the rolling and currently like i said i don't know if i mentioned i think i did mention this we got all the way up to chapter 15 but it's very vague we outlined and i do know for a fact that i really enjoyed my bigger outline for broken boys draft two it really did help make me feel more secure in the story so i feel like we just need to spend the next few days really flushing out this outline and then like the chapter outline not so much the world outline we'll we'll go back and forth with that one and then we can start moving on to the actual story again and starting from scratch until like chapter like luckily enough chapter eight nine ten like those three chapters are done so we can skip them when we get there um, and this is not like, this is the first time I think writing a book where I'm building to a chapter in a chronological state, because normally, um, I'll either add things before the first chapter. So I guess I am building to that chronological, like that moment that I started, or the chapters can be out of order and I just don't like the placement of it. I've also had that happen before. This is going to be a little weird because it's not like one or two chapters that are behind schedule on. It's like six and there's like 20,000 words in between. And then we're going to turn these into weekly writing vlogs until I finish this fucking book. And that's what it's going to be. I was going to start this other vlog. I had already started it talking about the rolling in detail, but we're doing these. So I think this is how I'm going to document the rolling draft one. Maybe when we start doing other drafts and stuff, I'll, I'll put these in different categories. About 30 minutes or so before I need to leave to do go do that. So let's see how far we can get. Hi, I want to come in here and update you guys. It is about to be Sunday in the morning. And I'm sitting down and I got my outline pulled up. Yesterday I took, today I kind of took like a chill day, but also on that chill day, I figured out so much information about the rolling. Um, Broken Boys, the goal is to be done with the reread by the 31st of July and then to outline next month at some point and to start draft three in September. That's the plan. For the rolling, I'm really ha hoping to get book one done by the end of August. So that's also the goal. And I think it's very doable. I don't think that's a problem. I don't know how many words it is. I gotta make a tracker and stuff. I've yet to do that, but it doesn't matter. Since I'm not done outlining, so I don't want to make it until I'm like completely ready and done outlining. 
So with book one, um, I got all the way up to chapter 10 in my outline, which is about the first 40,000 words or so of the book. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll see. It's somewhere going to be around there. Currently, right now, we're sitting at 14,499 words. You know what I mean? And I, the original idea was to make this between about 60 to 80k, and now we're looking at about 80 to like 100k. So we did double it a little. We, we did add a little bit to it. I also realized before, I was like, oh, I think the middle of the book will be chapter 15, because 30 chapters, that makes sense in my mind. And I really just did not like where part one ended in the outline. I was like, this is just not, like, if I was reading this personally, I think I'd be really mad that this would be, that the outline, this would be it, you know? And um, this is where the first act one ends, or part one ends. And so I kind of went away with the whole idea, and I rebroke it down. And so now, <coughs> so I rebroke it down and now the few chapters that I had was like two and a half, maybe three chapters over are now integrated into upper parts of the book. And so now we get to go to chapter 10 where the original chapter 10 ended, but still having enough background information and character like moments and stuff to, I think, make the payout really nice. And then part two is where the problem struggle is. Because right now I have an outline of three parts, and I just don't think that's going to be the case. I also don't know if we're going to have parts of the first book. Parts might come up in the second book, but I don't know if it's weird to not have parts in the first book and to have parts in the second book. I also don't know if we have to have parts, you know? It's like a mixed bag here. I don't really know. And that's something I can decide later on in, you know, life. And that's part of the reason why I'm out drafting all three books and then editing them. So we have the whole story and so I can do whatever I want with it. And I think it works better for a trilogy, in my opinion, is to draft them all. I know people who don't, and I think it works for them, but this is how it works for me. It's always how it's always worked for me. And so I'm thinking maybe this is more like 22 chapters or something. I'm not sure. I've yet to, to outline the second part. And the second part enters a whole other thing that could probably be used for its own book. But I'm going to I'm gonna kind of underwrite it here in the first book because it's going to be a place that we're going to get to go again in a future book. I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think we will get to go again, but it's very important and yeah. It's also kind of weird because this is a paranormal romance and I don't think the romance is going to start to like 50k in the novel. I also got to figure out how to write a non-first, like, first impression equals love situation because... It's not a character that the char the people know. It's not like somebody... I mean, the character has been around for a while in the book. You, as a reader, didn't know. I I do, because I'm the writer. But it's not a prevalent character. I don't think we even name the character or even see the character. I just know it's there. And you know it's there. And now, if you're watching us, so much has changed. It's there. These books are coming out in two or three years. I'm okay with telling you a little more information about it. I gotta figure that out. And once I figure that out, I think we're gonna be cool. But until I do, because I'm not sure. And maybe we can do, I don't know, because I really like the quote and I don't want to put a quote on every chapter. And I think that might be what we have to do, which would add an element of building something. I don't know. I'll figure it out, though. I promise. Well, there you go. We, we are we are in the outlining stage. I don't remember exactly where we're at by this point. I am. Hopefully I'm much further than I think I am, but I can't promise to be honest with you. Sorry if you hear my cat crying in the background, but I am super duper excited to be working on the rolling full time until whatever date. I don't know if I said it here, so I don't want to spoil it, but let me know what you guys are doing in camp. I'm very, very curious and I'll talk to you guys all next week for another vlog.